From a little kid, I was always told, if you make a mess, you clean it up. And that sucks, right? But we have to do it. So Milwaukee is making it a little easier on us with their new M18 HEPA certified compact vacuum that allows you a ton of different configurations to more suit exactly what you need. Now your job site might be different than mine, but I took this to a place where I removed some bank safes and had to demo some walls in different areas to get them out. So we cleaned that up. I'm gonna share my experience with you. Stick with us. Quickly, before we get into how it works, I think it's important to kind of understand what's happening here in multiple different ways. This is their cyclone action. So you're pulling in air here and trying to separate large pieces, and I guess it's a compact vacuum, so when you say large pieces, it's gonna be anything that fits through this hole, and it's gonna separate it out into this space. You can see this is covered in dust because the bank building I'm working in is, um, really dusty, especially behind the safes. Now on this side, we have a foam filter and then we have their HEPA filter. And this actually stayed very clean since I emptied this container about 10 times. But this HEPA filter is gonna work good for silica or any other type of drywall dust that you really don't wanna breathe in or put up into the air. It's not gonna be good for anything that would be able to be sucked up and go into the air like lead or anything but with that case uh, you just use it for what it's meant for now this is your bin that's going to collect dust i want to be very careful here it's going to open up like that you can dump it out with it connected or close it back up i got some nasty little dust in there now you can eh, that didn't work as expected either you can pull this off and empty it out. You can see you have two bins here. Your bin that's gonna hold the larger pieces and then the bin that's going to basically take care of all the rest of the dust. So there's multiple ways of getting that in and out. Just make sure, I guess, that you pound that down and get anything that's gonna be sucked in here and in this away from it. It's actually been great just to use this and dump everything like that pound this out, keep on moving. Now, configuration, you can use this sitting up, you can put your hose on this very simply, just clean up anything you might need to like that. You can connect this hard handle to this, and once you connect the, or hard extension, once you connect that, you can then still connect any of these other items to it, but you do have a so you have this brush here that can connect up to this, or you have more of a wet floor connection. There's all kinds of ways that you can use this. You don't have to use this extension. You could connect this direct if you were on your hands and knees. I mean, there's like, they say five different ways to use this, but there's plenty more than five ways to just put this together. So it's gonna fit whatever you want. When using this vacuum, this is the view that you're gonna have. Your on and off switches here, you have low and then high. Here's low, there's high. And then this light here is never really gonna come on unless you completely plug the filter or fill up this box and it starts to lose suction. But I have yet to see that light. So my experience with this vacuum is basically cleaning up some drywall dust, cleaning up some it's plywood sawdust per se, a little bit of OSB particles, some MDF that has been broken up from us putting shoulders into some of these bank teller walls just to get them out of the way. And then a lot of dust, paper clips, and paperwork that was behind things, behind safes in different places like that. So this vacuum, I had to continue to remind myself that it was a compact vacuum. And I say that in a good way because there's a lot of things here that were just larger items that were never gonna go through this inch and a quarter hose. And I just had to remind myself that this is not a big vacuum and I have to come out with a larger shop vac style vac to get some of this stuff to go. This was not happy with uh, pieces of Formica that were larger. 
and you can't expect it to be, but that was part of what was on the job site. Large pieces of MDF that were on the floor, uh, I, would, I would call them small marble sized pieces. It really didn't chew them up uh, when I was using the brushed floor cleaner. It kind of just spit them forward and didn't want to pick them up and I can completely understand that. But the brushed floor cleaner actually worked really well and I used it for most of the building. It's not a big fan of paper clips, so if you work in a commercial setting with an office stuff, you, you know, not too many vacuums are fans of paper clips. But what ended up eventually happening here was that this vacuum has a turn, and while I was using it, this inch and a quarter tube eventually just plugged itself up with a few little items that kind of just jimmied their way in there and then all the dust and stuff that could stick to it stuck to it and slowed everything down. So this little tube was what stopped this from using or from really sucking up a lot of the stuff eventually. So I had to just stop and clean that out. Not a big deal. Just something that I think you're going to see in job sites. What I put on afterwards was this brush. I just wanted to clean up some drywall dust from little things that were removing that fell. It worked great with the brush. The drywall dust went in good. I mean, it wasn't a ton of it, so I'm not really dealing with large drywall jobs here. I wanted to go into one of the back rooms and try out this larger floor cleaner. I have a lot to clean up back there, and this is, again is where I have to remind myself I have a compact vacuum, it's only 32 CFM. So when I put on this larger floor cleaner, and we're talking about four inches wide by two and a half, it just reduced the 32 CFM of suction too much for me to really pick up screws or any other debris that probably really needed a lot more. So this piece here is something that I wouldn't use with the longer extension. From there, I just started to just clean. And what I started to realize quickly is that this thing is pretty battery intensive as far as what it likes to use. So I just did some quick math and I came out with like three minutes, 10 seconds to three minutes, five seconds per amp hour depending on the battery I'm using of runtime. It's not horrible because who likes to clean that long? And if you really need to clean for a long period of time like that, you can pop the 12 amp hour on there and obviously you're gonna get way more time than you want to have cleaning, but that gives you an idea no matter what battery you're using, you're gonna be a hair over three minutes per amp hour. So it's not bad. I actually liked what I had. I'm going to give you an opinion from a guy who you can either take it or leave it or leave me a comment on how I'm wrong, but there's so many ways to put this vacuum together that you almost have to pick your job site style of cleaning and go with it and know that you have the rest around because there's so many pieces and while Milwaukee designed this excellent where you can put things together, um, I, I don't want to say that I have to figure it out, but they have a way of putting this hose in here so that um, it can actually be stored. And then beyond that, you have everything together. So there's great ways of putting some of this stuff together, but that doesn't always work to clean something. So for me, and I'm not saying anything bad, I just think that you have to sort of decide, are you gonna use this vacuum up like this and put something in it and then carry some pieces or are you just going to figure out a way to carry everything if this came down a little if this shortened up a little bit I would say that you could put it in a pack out because that would be really cool to have a pack out that kind of kept all this stuff together and then you could just have your cleaning pack out um, but I think moving things around for a lot of people with this large amount of stuff, it gives you so many options that you just have to kind of pick where you're going to store it, and how you're going to get it to the job site. And while it's great, it has a lot of stuff. So big circle, long rabbit hole. Either way, works. Everything's good. Take what I have shown you here and apply it to your job site and see how you think it's gonna work for you. Now, I'm hoping that the floor and the stuff on the floor and how it cleans up shows up well on camera. This place is filth and was filth, so there's a ton of stuff there. 
we all have different ways of using our tools, so I hope that applies to something. Now, if you, well, this is optimized for job site work. I'm gonna go off into a different tangent and say, if you wanna take this camping, if you wanna take this to your hunting blind, if you wanna have something that can go off in different areas or use this around your house, it's gonna be excellent. It's gonna allow you to get stairs easily. It's gonna allow you to get into different window sills and different areas pretty easily, pretty quickly, and allow you to use this item at home. So if you want to deviate from what it was meant for, it does have some excellent qualities. It is, is easy to move around, and it also is easy to empty. And some of those job site qualities that will come through will actually really shine when you use it for lesser work. So staying on track here with what other people might use it for, I like it. Now, as my runtime, I'm gonna tell you the runtime on high on this one, right? At the three minutes per amp hour, if you drop it down to low, it's going to be less, but I will tell you that in my experience from what I've used this for, I just kicked it on high and let it go because I want to get the cleaning done as fast as possible. Low might be good for hooking it up to a smaller tool or doing something like that. Not my gig. Kicked this bad boy on high and went with it. As always, I love to hear your comments. Absolutely love it. I would love to hear what you've used this for, if you bought it, if you found a deal on it, anything like that, leave that below. Give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, we thank you for your time. Have a great day.